prices for materials as any self-builder or builder knows are already going through the roof. So just give you the heads up, as you can see behind me, we have just completed the first floor level now. So that is being poured uh, this week and the roof then goes on in about um, three weeks time. So the 5th of December, which means it's then weather tight. The rain has been relentless. So as a result, the track coming down has been a quagmire, quagmire. Um, so we've had to get the digger in and we're going to get 803 rolled in just to help um, with the skid situation because the last thing we want is anything falling onto that. And there they are, look, the dream team. Hey team. <laughs> well, I'm presuming that the pump noy, the concrete, sits about here. So the mixer mm -hmm. will come down to here, this area somewhere. And then that's the area we need to concentrate on to get the mixers down. Because the pump noy is just sit here. So, um, we need the concrete here, but this it's on our ground. We don't disturb it. It's all good at the moment. That's it, that's enough. <laughs> um, for people that don't know, when you dig a house into the side of a hill. We've got a, like a work access area here at the moment for the scaffolding and obviously for the guys to work when they're putting up the tank in here, uh, which will join on to this tank in here. We'll clear all these leaves off obviously. And this will all be sealed up here, almost like a, a reverse swimming pool. And it'll also be on the inside of the building. We're standing the other side of the wall where I just was. And uh, yeah, this will stop any water coming in to the building and keep it dry. It's very frustrating when all these companies tell you it's going to be there by a certain time and you phone up and they say it's going to be two and a half hours late. Not so good. Bit of night digging. No rain today, thankfully the house is just down here, yeah, down there somewhere. And uh, we've got some track mats arriving today. And this chap in the top field, he's always here. This is his sort of spot. He's an absolute beauty. It's been a busy start to the morning because of the rain that we've had, even though we put down 32 tons of uh, 75 to dust and 40 to dust it's still really really sloppy i mean we put it down on wet ground but even so the uh, ground is so saturated it's going to cause us a problem when it comes to pouring next week on tuesday so um to stop the wagons sinking in spinning out and us having to pull them out this is a last ditch attempt I suppose to uh, to prevent that from happening so we've got these track pads I uh, got them from a local hire company they're about 40 kilos each 2.4 by 1.2 meters and uh, hopefully that will spread the load keep the area underneath the track pads dry might increase our chance of success but these are about 100 pounds to buy and uh, if you rent them you're probably looking in the region of a, a, a tenner a week and we've got 34 of those so with deliveries thrown in so yeah for two weeks higher you're looking at 680 quid 
big up to Fred from Classic Builders in Plymouth who helped us out yesterday. Thank you very much. And also to Gap Tool Hire, the local company that provided these. Really helpful. I phoned yesterday, they had them in stock and they delivered them this morning at 8 o'clock. So brilliant service. Thank you. So I'm currently in what will be the sitting room. This is what we call a floating corner. So it will be a corner aspect of glass completely. So uh, we can have a look out, which will be lovely, into the canopy of the trees. So as mentioned before, we've got 16 and 20 mil rebar here, also tied into uh, these stirrups and the steelwork, which forms like a big box beam section when that's poured. This is 10 inches as well. So when that's full of concrete and it's all solidified, it's not going anywhere. I mean, uh, that's quite substantial steelwork. And this section here, along here, there's gonna be a corner post there. I'll show you that in a minute. And a long steel there. And that's because these spans are so big that we can't do the Nadura detail that we did over there. So this is just gonna be um, just steels. Tomorrow is the pour for the first floor. So the final preparation James is doing now. And then, um, yeah, we'll be able to put the track pads to the test and see if the, if the uh, concrete pump and all the uh, concrete wagons will get down that track. 